good morning well afternoon here good morning in the rest of the u.s good afternoon and night to the other part of the world <laughs> um today i was trying to decide if i wanted to color the background i'm kind of leaning towards that because my brain is pretty tired today <laughs> um and I kind of wanted to do the background a little bit like this one because uh, I think it's fun. It's pretty simple. It's quite a bit of layers. Um, today I'll be using my Prismacolor pencils. I have the 150 set, um, but don't worry about that. You don't need Prismacolors and you don't need the 150 set for sure. Um, I just grabbed a bunch of blues. Uh, I live here in the Caribbean, which is why I made this coloring book. We're coloring from my, sorry, putting this, putting it on. We're coloring, coloring from the book I released in February called Caribbean Sea Life. Um, it is made from images that I took while I was snorkeling here in the Caribbean. And we are doing a color along right now on the French angelfish page. And last time, which you can check out uh, somewhere, probably easiest to link would be my YouTube channel, which I'll grab that really quick. Sorry. I feel a little bit shaky because I'm like super hungry. <laughs> I just am working on drinking my lunch shake, but that is the link for last last week's video and um, be sure I see that there's supposed to be one person here be sure to say hello let me know you're here and so last time like I said we colored the juvenile angelfish and then I don't know if anyone was here but I was trying to decide if I wanted to color the big angelfish or if I wanted to work on the background and I think I want to work on the background today just for a little bit of change because it basically will be kind of the same as this but just the pattern is a little bit different so I just grabbed a bunch of blues I'll probably grab some more and as I go kind of just I don't know depend on how I feel uh, what I'm going to do here is kind of just like sketch out some lines so that we can sorry going back to the other page so we can do something similar to this and I picked uh, the lightest blue I just saw just now, which is Sky Blue Light, which is PC 1086. And you know, I'm going to sharpen it and I'm going to be bumping the camera a lot because the cord is kind of in my way. So I really liked how I did the background on the other page. So I'm going to try and kind of do something. And because this is so light, I'm not really going to worry about going over um, part of the other images or, you know, part of the other portions of this page. So I really like how I kind of go like that and go up. So it's just kind of like a S shape here. And you can't see that at all. So I'm going to go a little darker for you. But um, for, for you at home, if you're following along with me and want to do what I'm doing, um, I just made an S shape with this, which I can see. And I don't know if you can. So let me know if you can or cannot. <laughs> but this is, the again, the Sky Blue Light, which is 1086 Prismacolor. I'm going to go see if I can find something a little darker that you can see on the camera. Okay, you can see that a little better, I think. Okay, I'm gonna sharpen it. So this is um, uh, Cloud Blue 1023. And if I were you, and if I were just starting, I would use the um, Sky Blue Light, the 1086. Because right now I'm just doing some basic um, sketches. Just to know where I'm going to go with the water. 
And I'm not worrying about going over because this color is light. And I think I'll go here. So inside this line, these lines, a shape, we're going to leave it white. And I'm just going to do some more shapes as we go. So we can make the cool water background. I'm just going to do a little light scribbling to remind myself where I want the color. And let's see what kind of shape do we want. Just probably just some basic lines because this is this is pretty <clears throat> uh, detailed, we'll say. And we'll go. like so go thin up here and then wider here and i think i want to do so we can always color over it so do like a little bloop <laughs> technical language always that was this So again, we're doing some background work today. I just needed something a little different from last time. <coughs> Excuse me. I'm still drinking my lunch shake. So if I pause weirdly, that's me. Um, if you're here, be sure to say hi and talk to me so I don't feel so alone. Okay, so... Um, do something like this here and uh, that's some rocks so we won't color over that and pew, pew. side effects always make or side effects sound effects always make things a little bit more fun okay so just remembering where we want to put color <clears throat> Some little scribbles. Then you gotta figure out what is a shape with color and what's not. <laughs> okay. Um. So when I worked on my other page, and if you're just if you haven't shown haven't seen it yet, we're gonna do a background sort of like this. <clears throat> um. And I think it'll be fun. Do I want to use this or do I want, do I want, okay, I'm going to go with this blue to start filling in some color lightly. This is the non-photo blue, um, 919 of the Prismacolor, and I'm just going, actually, I lied, I'm sorry, I'm going to go. Sorry, there's so many choices and I'm just trying to really remember what I did last time, but it's kind of hard because I wasn't like meaning, I wasn't trying to keep track of what I was doing. That's still too dark. Okay. Oh, I guess I'm going to keep going with the cloud blue. So what I'm doing is just lightly coloring in where I want color and this is just kind of like um the base layer we'll call it that <laughs> excuse me and I totally put oh yeah so I almost colored where I wanted to keep it white this is why we do this <laughs> why we try to remember So I released this coloring book in the beginning of February. It's going pretty good. I'm a new coloring book creator. I am starting to work on another coloring book featuring kitties. 
and I'm pretty excited about that one, to be honest. I love animals in general, but I really like cats. And whoever's here, thanks for joining. I appreciate your company. I started um, a color along to work on this page because things are more fun to do with friends. I had I had a few people show up last week. Hopefully they'll um, I didn't give as much time and I didn't do the same time today as I did last week. I had to help my dad out with his computer again. And so got a little bit later start today than last week. Where am I coloring? Oh, I ended up coloring where I don't want to color again. That's going to happen a lot. My brain is super exhausted. <laughs> so I've been using Prismacolors pretty much my whole life. I am. I, um, I really like them, and if you can save up to get them, I would. But if you can't, that's okay, too. I um, tried out the Color brand colored pencils, and they are, they are decent budget-friendly pencils. They're a little bit... The lead is a little hard for me uh, with my carpal tunnel, and probably because I always have, like, a little bit of a death grip. I'm not now, because actually my finger hurts, <laughs> but I think I, I usually press too hard, probably. I think that's been a struggle my whole artistic life. Oops, you'll have to let me know if I'm accidentally out of the camera view. I want to be sure you guys can see. I didn't give as much warning for my live today. Again, it was the helping my dad out on his computer. Oh my goodness gracious, you guys. I mean, it's a blessing and it's a curse. <laughs> he really needed a new computer. His was so old it wouldn't even update to new versions of the operating system. Since he didn't really, like, wasn't super computer savvy, and I, my husband and I, we don't use Windows computers anymore. Uh, I ended up buying him a, a Mac. <laughs> and it's just so, because that's how, an Apple computer, because that's how I can help him best. Because that's what I use. And I figured out how to um, have him share a screen with me so I could really help him. Okay, so where is this? Okay. Here it is. We want to color here. I'm lost. <laughs> I didn't do my um, helping lines very well, apparently. It's okay. It's nice about this color being so light. It's not gonna really be able to tell, but we're just colored. Oh, I just colored in part of that too. Golly, it's okay. We'll color over that later. <laughs> Struggling today, guys. I guess we'll show you. We can fix mistakes. No biggie. You know, this, this part is kind of the boring part. I apologize for that. Me filling in color slowly because I color very slowly. And then you're like going and you're like, hmm, I got to make some executive decisions. Is this part of the image or is this background? Or <laughs> oh, yeah. So my dad's computer. I had to help him figure out how to open his um, like little cards, like his SD cards and stuff, so he 
could look at those pictures from his camera and such. So that was that was fun. But we got it figured out because I figured out how it, how he can share his screen with me and how I can actually control his computer remotely, which is a huge benefit. And I, I just saw someone pop in. Hey, hey, be sure to say hello. And let me know you're here. We're coloring in my book, Caribbean Sea Life, that I released in February. And we decided, well, I decided, no one else was here to help me decide, but I decided I was going to work on the the water background today because I feel felt like doing something different other than the fish today. And um, if you if, I, if you haven't been here to see, we're gonna do the background like like this from light to dark and with some nice white the boop doos boop de woos. <laughs> And feel free to ask any questions you have. Okay, so that's white. That's white. And I went through with this um, cloud blue 1023 and drew some sketched lines. I would have used a lighter one um, for just me, but it wasn't showing up on the screen. So I chose this little bit darker light blue right now I'm like trying to remember what's <laughs> what's part of that coral and what's not part of the coral and So um, if you're worried about not being able to stay the whole time or you're coming across this after the color along is finished, whatever, don't worry. You can view all the videos on my YouTube channel. And um, after, after we're all done. And I put that link already in but you can let me know if it doesn't show for you. I'll put the link <clears throat> to last week's color along when we did the fish here. Don't mind my nails. I got to redo them. I decided I'd do them tomorrow. I picked off all the cute color because I, I think I got nervous sometime this weekend or last week. And... Getting a little bit close to the wood here. So I'm using a Prismacolor Scholar sharpener and I like it. I have the, I think they have one specifically that says like for the premieres on it, but I, I really didn't like the pencil or the sharpeners like design. Um, so I tried out these ones and, or the, yeah. And so I just buy them. They're pretty cheap. They're like, 10 bucks for like three of them and so I bought, <laughs> bought six of them in the last few weeks and I don't know where most of them are I know where three of them are I lost the other three somewhere in the world in my house which is small but they're lost I don't know okay we want that white oh that's part of the Part of the coral again. <laughs> Struggle bus. I think I wanted that white and I colored it in. No, I'm not sure. Yeah, I think so. Okay. So we'll color this in here. You know, in the in the <clears throat> the image I showed you, I didn't 
color anything in in the white spots. Maybe I'll do that this time because I noticed that some of the color. Oops. Oh, my goodness gracious. So sorry. That's what sucks about the setup I got here. <laughs> um, I noticed some of the color kind of migrated. So like you can see some orange and red here. But it's it's whatever. It's just for me. Not hanging it up in some museum or anything. Okay, so what I wanted here was like a whoop de swoop and I did something weird. So we'll do whoop de swoop and color it in here. Then once we're done filling in this color, which we're pretty close to me and then we'll graduate to the next darker color. Because working in layers is how to get pretty cool effects when you're coloring. Okay, now we wanted this white, so then this needs to color here. Okay, good, good. I think. All right, got it all. Next. Okay, so. Mm, I'm a little bit sleepy. What does it look like I did back here? I really liked it. It's like a, a skyish blue, I think. Do I have any of that here? Let's see. Let's play with, with some of these. So I have out with me. Sorry about my arm. I have out with me some. That might be too dark. Okay. Then this light cerulean blue. I think I will go with that. And so this is 904. And we're going very light again. and just building up the layers. So this is going to be the lightest color at the top. But I think we'll do some other light colors with it as well. <clears throat> Let's have something, something else. Because the water, you know, is never just like a solid one color. That looks pretty good. It's this one. It's pretty blue too. I think we might go with this one now, which is blue slate 1024. I go through a lot of pencils. I <clears throat> just go back and forth and kind of Nothing's really set in stone when I color. I decide as I go. I don't have a problem with that. Some people need to decide before they get going, which is fine. I kind of did. I grabbed a bunch and then had to decide whether or not this one's better. So the, the blue slate 1024 is a little bit better color. So we'll just go over that. So it'll be a little bit darker here, but you know, like I said, the sun shines in the water differently. And so there's different colors in it all the time. And some ways to make sure that you don't have like, see these pencil lines? Um, Cause I went back and forth you can go the opposite way, which can help. But if you drew too hard, it may not, um, if you colored too hard, may not make it go away. Or you can do little circles. 
and that will help remove those back and forth lines if you got a little crazy not remove but cover up maybe hi everyone got a few people in here be sure to say hello in the comments we're in the chat wherever let me know you're here and hanging out hopefully you can hear me okay let me know you can hear me good i hope i've been talking this whole time <laughs> let's see i don't see uh oh no it says it says it's working i think gosh i'm gonna type in the chat can you hear me i wasn't able to unmute okay i think it's working <clears throat> Hopefully you can. Anyway, we're working on the background because I needed to do something different than the fish today. And blues, blues, a lot of blues, and mostly. Oh, hi, Jenna. Thanks for coming. Anyway, blues. A lot of blues almost any blue they're my favorite colors so there's there's actually like some things that I would do differently if I were to publish or well, which I am I'm working on a new coloring book sorry I'm pushing that down um, yeah some things I would do a little bit differently like make sure I got a little bit more space between the spine and the images and um, other things that I'm doing differently are starting out the images much larger than the book itself. So when I drew these on my iPad, I did them as this is a seven by 10 inch um, book. And so I just did seven by 10 inches. So I can't really like enlarge them without having to redraw because it gets a little bit pixelated and stuff and so with my kitty coloring book i am working on larger canvases on my ipad so that i could enlarge them if i want because you never know maybe you want to make a design into a shirt or a print or something and having them done on a larger canvas will allow you different opportunities So we are going from light to dark of the blues in sort of Caribbean, um, Caribbean waters colors, which is really, it's got the coolest looking colors in the ocean here. It's a pretty, pretty incredible, to be honest. Like I'm always surprised coming from the Oregon coast and then to hear the ocean is so much different. It is beautiful, but I'd take the Oregon coast any day. But I need the tropical weather. <laughs> oh, we're filling this in. I know it's kind of boring. But I think this is the part where, you know, that people find like ultra relaxing because you don't have to do a lot of like thinking about what's going on you're just coloring 
it's pretty thin. Let me know if you have any questions. You can get my book on Amazon. It's pretty cheap. It's like um, it's under seven dollars right now. I wanted anybody to be able to afford it. Like, sometimes like $8 makes me be like, mm, well, I don't know, that's pretty much $10. But if it says like under 7 well, that's pretty much $7. That's not 10 you know, <laughs> like my brain is kind of silly. I'm going to see where I put those lines. It's easy to get a little confused. I'm really excited about the kitty coloring book and I was thinking or I came up with it. I know Jenna knows the story, but for people who are watching in the future, um, <laughs> I came up with like um, an imprint name for my coloring books, kind of like a business name or something. And I'm going to call it Guava Cat Press. And I came up with a logo and everything. I'm really excited about it. And so I'll be publishing under that name now instead of my regular name. I don't know. It just seemed like the right thing to do. I was actually thinking about going kind of anonymous with it and not being like necessarily like super associated with the coloring books or whatever. But I decided that I'm, I'm really shit at keeping a secret. So I'm not going to be able to do that. So I'm just telling everybody anyway. <laughs> And plus, I wanted to, like, share about it, like, because I was so proud of the logo design and everything. It's super cute. I might do some changes to it in the future, but... Oh, I colored in that again. I colored in that, too. Oh, my goodness gracious. Oh, my goodness. Okay, this is where I want the color. We're going to have fun trying to cover up all these oopsies later. When we get to the... <laughs> The coral, it'll be fine. Give it personality. Depending on how long this takes, which I don't know, who knows how long this could take. It took me two and a half hours to do the fish. Some of you were here for that. <laughs> Maybe I'll continue on and work on the coral today, or I think I'm going to go live a few more times this week with this. And, um, because you can join in on the coloring, or you can just hang out and feel like you're hanging out and having some social time. And I'll just sit here and ramble until somebody has a question for me. <laughs> Excuse me. Be nice if I could have some sort of music or something in the background, but I can't. I'll get dinged for copyright stuff on YouTube. So, yeah. And if you're um, watching this later, after the live is over, you can always speed up the video on YouTube anyway. You can speed up the video under the video settings, which is usually on the top right-hand corner of the video player. 
and that's like you know the settings cog wheel thing and you can speed this up up to two over two times I don't know can't remember but then my voice would be really fast but this would go really fast <laughs> it's pretty self-explanatory really as I'm coloring things in I think I'm gonna grab the darker color next because I already need to change apparently my brain is just like super ADD today which is not a lot different than any other day but <laughs> so I've been making um, the socials for my guava cat press imprint and so if you are on I think I did I did Instagram TikTok um, obviously Facebook I don't use a lot of socials oh and I put one up for YouTube as well I don't know whenever you come up with a, a cool name you gotta make gotta grab all the socials before someone else does <laughs> we're almost done here I think we ought to just color in this blue with this and then I'm gonna grab the darker color that I want to use Dropping this up again. I think coloring is pretty fun. I haven't really done it like up until I mean I've done it like every once in a while but like and all for reals for realiness <laughs> I hadn't really done it as an adult I remember thinking my mom colored so well <laughs> when I was a kid like I was all amazed she was one of those that did like the dark outlines among, you know, like doing the dark outline. And I really liked how that looked. So I imitated that for a long time, but when I was young, but then I didn't color like hardly ever. I think I got some adult coloring books when I was living in Germany, maybe. And then a couple when I was living in central Oregon, but I don't think I don't think I actually colored in them, to be honest. I don't know if I kept them or if I gave them away or either. I don't have all my, all of our stuff isn't out of the storage unit here. So I haven't even seen everything that we have. Hello, hello, who's hanging out? Be sure to say hello in the chat. Don't be shy. So, so far, We've done two layers, one layer of um, cloud blue. Oh, that is that again, <laughs> of course. Um, one layer of cloud blue and one layer of blue slate. And now I want to go with like a darker color in here. And let's see. Oops. I want this. I might. Ooh, that's so pretty. That's the. Uh, that's the 906 Copenhagen. I might add accents of that, but let's see. Oh, that's so pretty too. That's the peacock. That's one of my favorites, I think. And then this is the cobalt turquoise. Okay, so I think I'm going to do. I'm going to do start off with the cobalt turquoise, or I mean the peacock blue. Sorry, that's 1027. Hi, Amy. Are they? Because I picked off all the pretties. I'm going to redo them, I think, tomorrow. And because I, I think I got nervous. And then I just like 
when you when I start, I can't stop. So I'm doing the peacock blue. We're just working on the background today because my brain is tired. I've been sleeping like pooty poo lately. And we're going to have a lot of oopsies to fix when, when we get to the coral. <laughs> but that's fine. Oh, I think that's part of the coral too and I keep coloring it. Of course. Okay, so we're going to lighten that up. We're not going up all the way with this peacock blue. But I got a little carried away there. I think this, this has to be one of my favorite colors. I think it's so pretty. I'm glad you're here, Amy. It's nice to have some people chatting. I've been here for 40 minutes. <laughs> people have come in and out. Jenna's been here a little bit, but you know, things. Oh, did I finish my shake? Oh, I forgot about my shake. Okay. Sorry. Got carried. Oops, sorry. Got carried away. <laughs> I forgot about my shake. I got some new nail polish and stuff for my nails. So, um, hopefully... It won't be as easy to pick off because I use something that you're not, it wasn't meant for nails. I use some um, acrylic paint pen <laughs> to do like the design and it just made it easy to peel off and that's not, not good for me apparently. But I'll take tomorrow and work on it. Hey Amy, have you seen my new, uh, I know I didn't give everyone as much time today to know that the live was going on because I can't really c commit because my brain won't let me, but I had to help my dad out on the computer, on his computer this morning. <laughs> and so I, uh, it just happened that I couldn't give a lot of time warning, but it's okay. So basically, um, if you want to work on your fishy, I started in the background with a, just a, a little review while well, we got a couple people here. I started off by using um, cloud blue and then I did kind of like some sketchy lines of these little whoop de woos um, because we are working on coloring it like this background. It'll look a little different, obviously, because it's a whole new page and I'm human. So anyway, I did that. I color sketched that in and then I filled it in very lightly with this cloud blue, which is a 1023. And then I went, we do lots of layers. That's how you achieve cool, um, cool effects and stuff. And then I went over it with this blue slate, which is 1024. And right now, I felt like going to the darker color, and so I picked peacock blue. And um, I'm going up right now just a little bit. Make sure I'm not behind the words here. And this is kind of like the mid the mid dark color that we'll be using in this. And that's totally fine. I'm just glad you're here. Okay, got that line here, here, here. Boop, boop, boop. Colored in. And it doesn't have to be perfect. Don't stress out. Because it's supposed to be relaxing. And I'm putting like extra light pressure, like as light as I could, because we're going to kind of um, grade eight or ombre <laughs> effect blending. That's the word. 
into a lighter color after we do this. Well, at least you can watch while you're doing some other stuff and keep me company. That's nice. Okay, so that was the mid dark and I decided that I think I like this um, cobalt turquoise as dark dark because there's a lot of like bluey greens in the Caribbean ocean here. And what's kind of cool is like the further you look when you're underwater and you're looking you know, it go. You can. It's like, hmm. What's the words? Like further away is darker than it is up close. It's more clear, and then so it's it's kind of cool. But I don't know if one I could really like. I couldn't get that effect in coloring. I don't think. I think my favorite part of this coloring book are these little tiny fish that I made up. <laughs> as I was coloring it, because it seemed kind of boring with just the main fish. Oh, did I already ask you, Amy, if you saw that I'm working on another coloring book? It's going to be kitties. I'm really excited. And It'll be fun. I'm pretty inspired by it right now. So actually it was really hard to get me to work on coloring today, but I know I made a commitment and I told myself in my head that I would work on coloring on Monday because I think as we talked about last week, weekends are for fam for my husband. And so we went, what did we do on Saturday? I think we spent a lazy day. I can't really remember. I think it was a lazy day because I, I can't remember anything. Oh, you know, he surprised me by taking me out to dinner. That was really nice. We tried a new restaurant, a new to us restaurant. And uh, it's called El Leon. It's like a Mexican, but it's kind of like really high end. Uh, Mexican, not like the Mexican I have back home and I miss. But so far, it's probably the best Mexican I've had on the island, which is so sad. <laughs> it's so interesting how, you know, different areas, you get different different sorts of foods, obviously. And like back home in Oregon, there was a lot of Mexican food because there was a lot of um, farm workers and stuff and I think our little town, we lived in a town called Madras. There was like six or seven Mexican food restaurants. And then there was one that was like a, uh, one of those food carts. Um, this is the Copenhagen Blue 906. Oh, did I say what this was? This was the Cobalt Turquoise 105. I think I was looking at it and I didn't actually talk about it. Broke that a little bit. My hand's a little sore today. I was working, I've been working hard on my, my kitties for the other coloring book. And so I think sometimes I press really hard with my finger like this on the, the eye pencil and the stylus that I use on the iPad. And so that makes this, this bone like really tired or the muscle or whatever, you know. <laughs> So I'm just going over it. So I want this to be pretty dark down here, I think, because I think it'll give it a lot more interest. And then when we color these things down here, we'll make sure they're lighter in color so that they can stand out or they're like a opposite color of the color wheel, like orange. And I'm not doing this stuff realistic. I'm doing the fish realistic, but I like, I got, I can't like keep everything. <laughs> I 
I don't know, everything realistic all the time. I like to do realistic stuff. But I think I'm doing some, some real and then some kind of made up or more fun colors. I think that makes, gives it a lot, um, a lot more interest. Sorry, it's really hard to think and color at the same time. It's probably why it's so relaxing for people. Well, may rather not think, but talk out loud. <laughs> I usually get inside my head way too much. So it's kind of nice having to talk because I'm not just talking to myself. Well, thank you. But yeah, I'll probably, I'll go live. Um, few more times this week I'll try to, to plan it at least a little bit before <laughs> not 15 minutes before like today but like an hour at least last time I gave people a half hour or an hour when I announced it and that seemed to work out well Oh yeah, and then on Sunday, I think my husband and I hung out with some friends. We went to brunch at one of the restaurants here, which is a seasonal restaurant. It's only open over kind of like the winter months and then a little bit of spring. It's called Goat Soup and Whiskey. It, I don't think there's even any soup there or they don't serve goat, but they have um, a restaurant down here and then... Back in the summer, I think they have two locations in the States. I think one's in Colorado. Anyway, we went there for brunch and it was fun. And we're going to have, we're going to start doing brunch more often with these friends. Like a little brunch club. I think it'll be fun. So they're able to go like twice a month. But Dan and I, we can go every week. I don't know if there's enough places that do brunch for us to have so many to go by ourselves. I mean, if we really wanted to spend the time with our friends, which we do, obviously. This is a nice color. <laughs> I just love blues in general. I was um, playing with some ideas and I might have to do a frog coloring book too. I, I But then I'm like, Adrian, hush. You can't tell yourself so many new ideas. You've got to finish one thing at a time. And which is really hard for me. I always want to start my new idea. And yeah, so... <laughs> I had to tell myself to stop playing with those ideas and work on my kitties because I am really excited about the kitties. Oh, something I was asking people and, you know, answer this if you can, if you're here or later in the comments. Uh, I want to know how coloring book artists kind of like hype you up when they have a new book coming out, like before it is published and um, going back with the Cobalt Turquoise 105. So before it's published and before they have everything done, what is it that they do to show you they have a book coming out? And so far I've shared like a page or two but then I'm like, do I share every single page as I'm working on it? Or I don't know. I'm going to have to look up some more people that do coloring books and see what they do. Because it's kind of, I don't know. It's like, what is the line of too much or too little? But I'm really excited for Guava Cat Press. It's so adorable.
I'll leave this one probably just under my name, this, this coloring book. But my future coloring books, I think I'll just put under Guava Cat Press. And I don't know, it's so cute. I might put me, my name as a contributor. Mm, that'll probably be best because maybe I already have some followers on Amazon just following my regular name as an author. And then that will show up on both places. I have to take a nap again today. I had a nap yesterday. I think it's because I had French toast and like for breakfast brunch <laughs> that much bread, which I don't have very often. Probably made me pretty tired. So I think I'm gonna do like dark on the outsides as well. I think that'll look kind of cool. Just up a little bit, not all the way because the sun would show. But kind of, what's that? Vignette kind of idea. We'll do it light, light, light right there. Go lighter as we get closer to the center. Center. I'm not going to be precious about it. But. It's always good, I think, to use multiple colors when you're drawing something. You know, I did do the blue on top of this and I don't actually see it at all <laughs> now I did when I was coloring it so I wonder I don't know like the black like ate it <laughs> ate it up or something I try really hard to be metho methodical yeah that's the word when coloring but I'm really bad at just hopping all around the page and my thoughts if you haven't noticed <laughs> sharpen this up again i got some pencil sharpeners coming one for the um the credit Krita color mega pencils because it's like they're like half an inch thick and then um so I asked that brand what pencil sharpener to use because I really wasn't sure and come to find out they have their own brand they have their own pencil sharpener specifically and so that should be coming and then I decided to get uh, a Farber Castell um, pencil sharpener too that comes with three sizes I think so I think in the future, I'd like to get, there's, is it Faber-Castell that does the stubby pencils? Are they called stubbies? Or woodies, they're called woodies. And they're like fat and like short. And I think I want to get those at some point. But I got to figure out my own, like, how to work my own time. <laughs> And by that, I mean like um, time management because I want to do some, some art that isn't on my iPad. I got some new, uh, there's just a lot of things I want to do and I can't do it if I'm like addicted to coloring. I'm really not good at time management or telling myself no when I want to do something. <laughs> Okay, I'm going to color a little bit in this, but not a ton. This is the part that I wanted to be kind of lighter. I'm going to go dark here. Prisms. Prisms. I don't know what you're talking about. Let's 
so yeah I know I'm just rambling because I don't know what else to talk about as I'm like filling stuff in and again I'm, I'm kind of doing like a, a vignette 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 uh, feel on the bottom I think it's kind of anyway that's my intent oh that's part of the freaking coral that's not oh boy <laughs> lots of oopsies up in here it's all right okay oh yeah here a little darker in the bottom there we'll go back to the copenhagen blue And I'm feeling a little impatient today, so apparently I'm not doing a ton, a ton of layers. I guess this is one, two, this is like four or five layers, I think, but I'm now I'm kind of pressing hard. Um, not super hard, but hard enough to get like the real saturated color of the pencil because I'm ready. Or I feel ready. I do a lot of things by gut feeling. I do a lot of that in my <laughs> in my life. Sometimes, usually, it works out pretty good. I can't wait for you to go home and start on your picture, too. So you said you did your son's laundry? I'm jealous. Although when my mom visits, she ends up doing something. Because apparently I'm too boring for her. So she'll, like, do my dishes. <laughs> Sometimes she'll do my... She did my laundry when I had a washer and dryer back, back in Oregon. But she didn't visit very often, so... Whatever. That looks cool. That like greeny to the blue. This Copenhagen blue is really pretty. Forgot about my peacock blue. We'll put that. We'll, we'll put that here, I think. I won't put this there again. Kind of give it that vignette I was talking about. Oh, <laughs> you're doing your own laundry. Well, that works out just fine. I have a washer here, uh, but I don't have a dryer. We're going to buy one at some point. It's just not like a priority. Because we have a, a laundry facility on our condo premises. So I just make, have my husband. Oh, yeah, I was going to do the peacock blue as I was getting caught up there. We'll kind of make it similar. I'll do a little bit dark here. Um, have my husband carry the wet laundry down to the laundry facility because it's real heavy. I hurt my back last year. Picking up a cat, <laughs> a little tiny cat, an eight pound cat. She was in the road. We were just, me and her were just chatting. <laughs> yes, I chat to the cats. Um, yeah, we were just chatting, and then a car was coming, and I didn't want her to bother the car. So we're standing in the parking lot. But <laughs> yeah, I picked her up kind of funny, and it. <laughs> hurt my back pretty bad and I did do like physical therapy so Dan won't let me carry anything too heavy Dan is my husband's name <laughs> okay I think that's what we're gonna do with the Copenhagen blue 
a little more here, a little here. Okay, I'm gonna go back in with the peacock blue, which is the 1027. Do what I was doing. We'll basically be doing the same thing up top, but with you know lighter, lighter blue colors. It'll be, it'll be fun. Turn it sideways. You bully chat all the time. Oh yeah, you dog. Did he come with you to your son's house to do your laundry? Oh, yeah, because you're living in a, a travel trailer. So, of course, you need to do your laundry someplace else. You know, I've seen these. Um, when I, I was kind of looking for a non-electric washer. And they have these, like, foot pedal ones that are, like, real small. And you can stick them, like, in your shower or something. And then they have, you can like hook up your you know, hose to it or whatever. I thought it was interesting. They weren't very expensive, but I was like, that'd be cool for like a pant leg. <laughs> Their little reservoirs weren't very big, but I thought it was kind of neat. It'd be good if like, you know, they, they lose power here quite often. And uh, when... Irma and Maria came through. I guess they were out of power for like six months. I can't even imagine. That was in 2017, September, when those two powerful hurricanes came through the Caribbean. And, uh, oh, excuse me. Pardon? Oh, yeah. Forgot about my shake again. Excuse me. And yeah, so they were out of power for like six months. I could not, I could not do that. They're just now like reopening some, some things like the libraries with that. Isn't that crazy? It's been six years almost. And they're just now reopening some things that have been closed the whole time. But we've only been here um, for a little over a year. So we haven't experienced anything drastic like that. Like like I said, I wouldn't be able to hang and have to leave. I like my power. I mean, they're <laughs> I'm very 21st century, obviously. But it's kind of, it's amazing what, what these people have been through and dealt with. And how strong they are. And, and that's why, one reason why we decided to move here. It's because the, the community is strong and friendly. And then, you know, sunshine. And, you know, it's part of the U.S. So you don't need, like, a passport or anything to come or to live here. Nothing special. You can move just like in, like moving to any other state. The one thing we're finding super interesting is the taxes. So there's not like we pay our taxes to um, the Virgin Islands. I don't know. Do we do federal taxes or do we do? I don't know. Anyway, it's a, it's a confusing system. And the worst part about it is they require you to mail in your taxes, which in Oregon, you did not have to. You could just, you know, go on, do your taxes on whatever platform you did, H&R Block or whatever, and, and then just, you know, send it in electronically. But no, not here. <laughs> they like everything analog here, which is insane i often say we're like 30 years behind everywhere else 
it feels like it. Kind of feels like we're still in the 90s. <laughs> with better, with, with, with like real internet that everybody has and cell phones, but they want everything. <laughs> paperwork, physical papers, like, oh, it was so crazy when I, I first started going to the doctor here, they wanted me, they still do, want me to keep track of a physical referral piece of paper, which is impossible, basically, <laughs> are you serious, <laughs> they're like, yeah, I'm like, oh my gosh, like, I've never had to do that before in my life, <laughs> So it's kind of funny. It's an adjustment. If you're good at adapting, it's a pretty nice place to be. Okay. So basically done. Might go in, make those lines a little nicer. Can't remember what I was going with everything. That was the Copenhagen. That was the Peacock. That was the dark green. Do I want to go Cerulean? Is that how you say it? I say that every time. Let's see. We'll see. Yeah, that looks pretty good. So we're going Cerulean Blue, 103. Up next. And I'm going to have to. So I'll just do a little bit of this because I'm going to have to see what colors I'm coming down with and like me in between. But this one's really nice. Man, I love, I love Prismacolors. They're just so, so good. And I know a lot of people have been complaining about um, their quality lately. And, and to me, they've always been the same. Like sometimes, I remember growing up, I would have a lot of issues with the lead breaking inside. And I think I was much more clumsy then. I'm pretty clumsy now, so it still happens a little bit. But when the lead breaks inside and you're sharpening and sometimes you have to, it comes out and um, that was always super annoying, but usually I would just buy a new individual pencil at Michael's or whatever. But that's happened forever. And I think it's just the type of lead because it's so soft, it can break really easily inside the pencil itself. And then I guess some people are complaining about, there was a color I was using earlier and I noticed it was a little bit cracked out here. And doing that, you know, bouncing off the table, that doesn't help. But there's a little bit of crack where the, you know, the pencil was pressed together. And you can see it up the entire barrel, but... As long as the lead stays in, it really doesn't bother me as long as the pencil is still working. Uh, that's like an aesthetic thing. Like, I don't know, that doesn't bother me. I did order some new colored pencils to try. I heard that, um, oh, I, I, I bought the Black Widow's Black Widow, I think. I think I picked that one because I liked the colors. And then I picked the Arteza brand because they said, people said it was pretty soft and I need soft. So I, I, I want to try other brands that are cheaper so that I can recommend people what to use because not everybody can afford Prismacolors even though I save, save up to afford them. Um, buy one at a time although that's more expensive overall but it's a way it's a way to do it because they have open stock at art stores and stuff and like michael's or probably joanne's online um but anyway i want to try some you know decent quality other pencils that are soft and like i said i tried the colors they were just a little bit too hard for me I have a page in here that I'm working on with just color pencils, but um, it hurts my wrist a bit. So I take a long, I'm taking a long break in between. I was working on a video for it. Which ones have you heard about? The Black Widows or the Arteza? I mean, both of them. Arteza is, um, 
a budget brand that is relatively new to me um, over the last few years. I like this color. I'm going to add some of this in here. Uh, this is the Aquamarine 905. And I haven't really tried anything of theirs, but I often open up Um, I don't remember what I was saying. I lost my train of thought completely. I'm sorry. <laughs> I have no idea. No idea what I was just saying just now. Yeah, I don't know. I haven't tried the Black Widows yet, but um, I think they'll be here at the beginning of April. We'll see. Oh, yeah, the Arteza brand. I heard they're decent. So I heard they were similarly soft, like Prismacolors, but some people said that about Color too. And so I just have to honestly see for myself. I almost, I have a hard time. I really want to try the Polychromos, but they're really expensive. I'm having, and the, I can't even see the other one. <laughs> I can't, I can't even think of the, the Crandia. <laughs> it's the one with the D in the name in the middle. <laughs> but those ones are really expensive and I really want to try them, but. Yeah, I think they were like, well, I think for the polychromos, they were like $50 for 20 and I was just like, I can't do that. <laughs> All right, see ya. Probably be here. Still got this top portion to do, and then we'll see how I feel about continuing on today or not. So I want to keep working on my coloring book too, my kitty coloring book. So I'm excited to try those other brands. I don't know what I'm going to do with the colors. I don't know if I'm going to use them. I did find that their pastel pencils, specifically their pastel set, is pretty soft. Not as soft as Prismas, but pretty good but I don't think their regular ones are they're pretty hard but I think like someone was saying oh I thought they were as soft as like Prismacolors and they're really not not in my opinion anyway um, and so I was like well you know if they are truly soft to you and they truly are soft then it's probably like um quality control issue because they're made made in China some no, no name brand that doesn't have to stick to any sort of anything it's kind of the issue with new brands that are because it's so easy to get things manufactured for really cheap now um there's a lot of, of these new companies that actually have the same exact pencil, but they paid enough to be able to modify the packaging, change, you know, put their own name on there and stuff like that. So it's interesting process what people are able to do now. Oh yeah, I like it. I like, like... There's a little bit of green here, so it feels like, I like how this is turning out. It's pretty cool. Oh, yeah. So it can be hard figuring out, like, what's what. So it's nice when there's, like, popular people, like that Sarah Renee Clark person. She's tried a bunch. And I'm just now looking into, like, other coloring people. So, like, I don't really know all the, the famous 
coloring people, but I know that Sarah Renee Clark, she tried a bunch of pencils. And I'm kind of going off of what she said about the softness. Um, since she's tried so many and she said the Arteza brand was pretty good. Or surprisingly good. And I think I want to try oil-based pencils too. Because that, in my head, would be soft. And I've, I have never used an oil-based pencil. Um, these are wax-based. I wonder what kind of wax they use. I should look it up. But, yes. Okay, so there's that. And now... I had to stretch, sorry. Oh, I wish there was more shake left, but... Fine. Um, let's see what color do I want to go more green or want to get back to blue that's nice also looking at this these other blues oh that's so bright that's so nice I'll put that over here I don't think I'm going to use it but maybe it just looks so <laughs> looks incredible that's purple well it's not like really purple purple but it's pretty close purple oh and indigo i always like pulling indigo out because it's a nice like it's almost black okay i'm gonna go in with non-photo blue i think yeah non-photo blue Oh yeah, I meant to see if, what my lilac, what was the two colors that they're discontinuing? Lilac, lavender, or Prismacolor is discontinuing. Lavender and something else. Is it lilac? I can't remember, but I meant to see what they looked like. And I wonder like why they would discontinue a color necessarily. Like how would they figure out like, is the color not used very much? And how they would figure that out? Like, what their decision process is on discontinuing something. I have no idea. Like, you could tell lilac and lavender. Okay. Oil-based pencils are harder than wax base. The Verisin are oil-based? I didn't know that. I tried the Verisin out um, quite a few years ago, and I ended up not using them, and I don't know what happened to them. Oh, the pigments they use for them aren't available anymore, so they need to switch them to... Okay. I wonder how that would be. Like, how would they... I don't know. You know, it's just kind of interesting how all that kind of stuff works. I wouldn't have figured oil base to be harder. But so much I know, I'm really, I'm no, you know, professional um, color pencilist. I would say I'm a professional artist. I don't know what the requirements on saying professional first would be. But <laughs> I use all kinds of mediums, not just one. So I'm not um, super knowledgeable in, in, in a single, single one. But I don't know. I'm weird. I think I'm going to go hard with this one here. UPS truck. Sorry, my studio is faces the um, parking lot window, so I often can see when the big vehicles come. And I got two packages today, so that was nice. <clears throat> I 
I got, um, I was testing out some random, oops, I'm sorry, off the screen, random um, neon pencils. So I got these ones, Sargent Art. And I haven't drawn with them at all, but I just wanted to find some good neon pencils. And so I'm buying all kinds of different ones. I bought, I have um, the, the, oh gosh, my brain, I'm so sorry. Someone recommended the Crayola brand. They said like extreme colors. So they're coming at some point. <laughs> and so that will be fun. It'll be fun to test them all. And then I have some other ones I want to get to just to see them all side by side. I think um, I was chatting with Jenna the other day and I was playing with the the neon colors and I was sharing that the blue the blue neons tend to seem to have issues. I should look at the neons of the the colors again because I actually thought those were pretty nice for neon in general. But it's always that like the orange, the pink, and the yellow neons are always really good feeling and do a nice nice coloring job. But then the blue is always terrible. <laughs> <laughs> this is looking pretty cool. Pretty good, pretty good. So we're taking this non photo blue 919. We're going over the top portion here. I haven't decided if I'm going to go all the way up with it or not. Maybe, maybe not. See, I went up pretty high here because I oh I was doing the the whole vignette kind of idea that I forgot I was doing already. <laughs> oh, sorry, my fat hands right in the way. I can't see anything. I feel a little bit hungry, even though I just finished that shake. I shouldn't, I should let it sit. Let it sit. I've been working on counting my calories. So I was eating way too much and I gained a lot of weight really fast. And so I'm doing this little weight loss program thing and I have a hard time deciding what to eat, especially if I'm hungry, if I'm super hungry then I need something I right away my blood sugar gets all crazy and I get all lightheaded and shaky and uh... oh sorry about that I got a phone call coming in this is videoing with my my cell phone and it wasn't a phone number I recognized so I didn't answer it but apparently when that happens it goes black Oh yeah, so I get a little super hungry and I get shaky and then I can't make any decisions. So I needed something that had low calories and was easy and fast. So I decided on a meal replacement shake. And so I've been working on that. And I've been doing that for a couple of weeks now. Not the shakes, I think I've only been doing the shakes for like a week week and a half maybe but been working on the <laughs> tracking my calories for a couple weeks now and it's hard stuff man I like food it's hard to tell myself no when I want sweets too 
yesterday I had a delicious creme brulee <laughs> for dessert after our brunch. Oh, so good. I can't say no to creme brulee ever. Oh, other things I've been working on is listening to my stomach. That's a hard thing because sometimes it says you're hungry when you're actually thirsty. And then sometimes it doesn't tell me I'm hungry until like it's too late. I mean, I've done, I've done calorie counting before, but when you stop and then you decide, like, you decide to really stop, it's, it gets all weird. I need a sip of water. It's 2 p.m. here. Kind of tired. <laughs> Getting closer. I guess I am going to fill this up all the way with this non photo blue, but very lightly at the top here. Let's give it this brighter blue color, which is fun. A little too sharp. Didn't get it sideways enough there. I told myself I would go to some... Um, is this closer than it was? It like zoomed in, didn't it? It totally did. Hopefully that's alright. I'll try to be cognizant of what it's looking at. So I don't know what happened <laughs> when I declined that call. I told myself I was going to go to various stores here on Island and see if they wanted to sell my coloring book. But something is preventing me from doing so. I'm, I don't know. I, I asked one person and they ended up saying that they had too many people doing commission uh, sales in their shop right now and I was a little bit disappointed because uh, it sounded when I first talked to them about it they sounded pretty pretty gung-ho about it I thought it was a sure thing but obviously not which is fine it's whatever I made some pretty good sales online but I had some people say um, when I was figuring out how to contact these stores some people said that it was not very nice to like just walk in with with your product or whatever and be like you want to sell it and so um, I don't know <laughs> I don't know I just don't and uh, so I haven't really decided how I'm gonna go about that again yet Oh yeah, I wanted to maybe email them. Maybe that was a nicer way to go about it where they wouldn't feel like pressured. Because I don't want to pressure anybody. Because I, I don't know. It's just, it's a thing that I wanted to do. And whether or not you know, I make a ton of sales, it doesn't really bother me. I don't know if I really... this color down. I'm pressing hard here. So I think it's time to go to this color. I don't know. Kind of hard. Relatively hard. Not hard enough to hurt me, but hard enough to get the solid color going. That's there, and then I want to also do that here.
this will look pretty nice when it's done. What color do you think I should do the coral? I think I definitely want to do some like orange. And then I always want pink. I also really like pink. But orange should pop out pretty good because of the blue background. And then pink just I don't know works. <laughs> and uh things and stuff in my brain. So are you guys coloring in my coloring book? Are you just hanging out? Or are you following along, doing your own thing? Let me know what you're doing, what you're up to. I don't have to think very hard to do this coloring, which is nice when your brain is tired. I don't know if I'll go live tomorrow. Oh yeah, I was gonna do my nails tomorrow, so I probably won't go live then, but maybe Wednesday. My hand feels a little crampy. Um, light cerulean sure oh maybe not i think i want to add this one actually the light aqua in up here get more of that Caribbean green blue in there just hanging what time is it there is it like eight or is it I think you're six hours ahead is it 8 p.m. 20 hundred twenty o'clock <laughs> Oh yeah, this this green is so is very Caribbean. <sighs> I know you gotta save up your cart to make the shipping worth it. I totally get that. I want to do some more buddy color alongs. I have um, a frog's tail. It'd be fun to do something together in that. I should probably do more. In this because I don't know if I'll color it on my own without having some accountability I don't know it's kind of hard to color your own coloring book I don't know if it's I have fun doing it coloring it digitally um, like how I did the cover and I made some stickers out of some of the images and that was fun but it's hard to like I don't know, maybe because I made it myself or the overwhelming I don't I'm not sure I just can't figure out why I don't have like a strong urge to color in it so we're gonna kind of do like not a straight across with like not the whole thing with this blue unless I forget what I'm doing as I'm doing it the light aqua 992 which i forgot to say earlier i think something i struggled with on the page that i finished was um figuring out what color to color the words <laughs> what did i do I, I think i ended up I colored them red and I don't really like that very much. I don't dislike it, but I was like, I felt like I had no idea what I was gonna do and I wanted to finish. Do you ever end up like that when you're, you're 
you just want to finish this page or whatever you're doing this coloring page and then you just put whatever because you're just done <laughs> that's kind of how that worked out <laughs> Do some random spots of this light aqua. Oh yeah, the frog's tail. I really like that coloring book. It's so, I like, cause they're like kind of detailed, but they're not, it's not like overwhelmingly detailed. And so it feels really totally attainable to finish a page or something. I almost feel like this is a little bit too detailed, but it's really not. I don't know. It depends on the, depends on the image. But do you guys have the A Frog's Tail book? If not, and you want to do a color along, um, should consider grabbing one if you like obviously if you like that coloring book or have been on the fence about getting it I think it's really nice I love the pictures it makes me inspired to color and we can maybe do color along with that I also have tiny cats and what is it one of those little house I don't know where it is but tiny houses Tiny, I don't know what it's called. I can't remember, but <laughs> I have that book too. But and I'm, I'm not buying more coloring books right now unless it like feels like I need a need. <laughs> but I haven't even colored in all three of the coloring books yet, so I'm not gonna let myself grab another one. And really, <laughs> it takes so long to color. I wish I was a little bit faster. Uh, so there's, like I was, I was talking about earlier, like I, I want to do so many things. There's so many like little projects around the house that I'm, I have the materials to do, um, but I just haven't followed through. Like I bought a new faucet for the sink. And the first time I had to pay, I paid someone to put it in, but really there, it's not rocket science. So I'm, I think I'm going to put it in myself. This next one. It's the first one I got, got plugged up. And so I ended up having to emergency buy another faucet and I just don't love it as much. And so I wanted, I ended up buying the original faucet again because it was pretty cheap. And so I hope that, <laughs> I hope that it doesn't get plugged up, but I don't think it will. It was, it's, it was cheap enough where you can, um, couldn't take it apart to get it unplugged or whatever. So it was pretty unfortunate, but it's whatever. I'm going to send uh, the one I currently have on once I get the new one on. I'm going to send it to my dad. See, he's having the same problem where, where the sink or the, the original faucet that we had in the condo, it was so um, close to the sink that there really wasn't room to actually do the dishes. It made it, I mean, the dishes is already a chore to do already difficult to make yourself do well it is for me really difficult um and so it's kind of amazing how just getting a better tool to do the job re a um better taller faucet i don't struggle nearly as much to get the dishes done which is really <laughs> really nice some other tricks I have for getting the dishes done is 
watching a TV show on my iPad while I do it. So I get grab my little headphones, put them on, and I watch a TV show. Right now I'm watching A Million Little Things, which I'm not sure how I feel about. I just I, mean, I keep watching it because I'm now invested in it, but I don't love it. I asked for suggestions on what asked some friends for suggestions on what show to watch after I finished This Is Us and that I really liked the show Parenthood and they suggested a million little things and I don't know. I don't know how I feel about it at the moment still. I think I don't even know what season I'm on. But <laughs> it's okay. They do tackle a lot of current events which is interesting and so at least that what television shows do you guys like or are you watching right now just curious okay i'm gonna go with i think i want to add some of this this was the cerulean again where did i put that what was that oh gosh it's so pretty <laughs> just gonna add I think I'm gonna add some of it because it's just so so pretty true blue I haven't done any of the true blue oh let's do that instead I might do a little bowls okay so this is the true blue and it's 903 I'm gonna sharpen it a little bit more and I'm gonna add it to the edges here. I don't know why it zoomed in more. I'm kind of like worried about it. It's kind of weird. I don't know why it did that, but hopefully I'm doing an okay job at keeping where I'm coloring like in the center or around, at least in the video. <laughs> But yeah, I don't think I'm going to continue on today after I finish the water. I'm feeling pretty tired and I don't want to like burn myself out on this on accident and not be able to continue. Um, I was almost like, no, I don't want to color it today. I just want to work on my coloring book. But no, I said I would. <laughs> so here I am doing the coloring and it's not too bad. And then where I see some, maybe some edges that could use a little fixing up. I'm just going in with this color. Give it some, I don't know, interesting things. Looks like it's going to take me <laughs> two hours to do this, too. Apparently, I take forever. I don't know if that's average or slow or not, to be honest, but... I'll try to at least, when I go live, finish one part each time so depending on how I feel next time I don't know I'm feeling a pull to do the coral to be honest so we might do the coral next time we might leave the big fish for last I don't know we'll see we'll just have to see how I feel That looks cool up here. That looks neat. Okay. 
get it a little bit into that aqua color to help with the gradient. And tell I'm getting tired. Getting a little messy. It's okay. Done is better than perfect. Always. Do some light edging over here. <laughs> when I colored the other words on the other page, I noticed that I forgot a lot of of the inside, like the inside of the E. <laughs> I was like, oh my gosh. And I had to go back and fill it in, try to get it to look somewhat similar. It was kind of hard. But, oh, <clears throat> excuse me, can you add a little bit of this here? I think there was another color that I wanted to use up here, right? I can't remember now. The question is, when I'm done with this and I work on my coloring book, am I going to go, oops, sorry, boom, thing. Um, am I going to stay in my studio or am I going to go hang out on the couch? I might hang out on the couch because I'm tired. Or take a nap. Hmm. So many options. I had to take a nap yesterday. Sleep has just been so rough lately. Okay, so what was that other color? Was it... Was I going to go with the light cerulean? I don't know. I said maybe. What's this? Mediterranean blue. No, too gray. Uh -huh. What's this? Muted turquoise. Ooh, that's kind of nice. Although, I don't know if it'll work very well. I'm going to do it in just a little bit of a spot here. That's uh, 1088. Do some here. This is like the color when the sun isn't really shining on it. <laughs> Looks a little dirty. Which is accurate. Sometimes water is dirty. But that really muted it. I'm not in love. I'll do a little right here just for a little continuity. But I probably I liked that better because there was more blue under that. Put a little more here. Here. Into that. A little here for um, blending purposes. Okay, back to this was the light cerulean blue. Is that what I want? I don't think I want to be blue slate. Okay, we'll just we'll go with this. We'll just go with this. Use use what a color, whatever color calls to you is the right color to use. <laughs> I think last time we went over it in a pretty light blue. So I might do that again. I just wanted to add a little more 
transition to different colors. Although I feel like I should have put more of this light aqua. Light aqua 992 up here. So I'm going to do that because I want it to like kind of match. So we're almost done with the water. Do you think I should color this in with white or what? I need an opinion on that. I think if I do, I can wipe off or like other color won't stick to it as easily. But I don't know. Oops, sorry, out of view. Just coloring where I colored already. <laughs> Oops, got a little crazy there. Just kind of blending these colors. I didn't do a good job with layering so it doesn't look as nice as other spots, but that's okay. Still looks pretty nice. I rarely use a blender pencil. Um, I re I have rarely ever used it. I've always had one, but I've just I've just blended the colors together with each other. I don't know. Maybe I need to I don't know watch some videos or something and see how other people use it to see if it's like something I really want to implement into my. What would it be called? My process. Let's see. We're almost at the two hour mark. No, I have to admit, I'm much faster when there's no television on. <laughs> That's for sure. This is looking nice. I like this. I'm going to do like some solid. Like I'm pressing pretty hard in the center where I colored this color before. I want it to be that solid color right there in a couple places. Can you guys hear the rooster? There's a ton of roosters here. I mean, it's not it's not very loud at all, but you just hear them a little bit. I can only hear them just a little bit. Definitely not over my talking. But there, he just went off. I don't know if you could hear him. A lot of people are bothered by the roosters, but I'm really not. Because we had a farm, so I was used to roosters calling quite often. Animals being animals never really bothered me. <laughs> I find that you kind of tune them out. I did notice though I was out in my living room late one night. It was like midnight or something and there was a rooster just going off. Something must have been happening like um, some sort of interruption in his sleep maybe. A mongoose or something or a cat I don't know there's not really many predators on this island to bother the chickens which is why there's so many of them likely but anyway it was just going off in the middle of the night and I felt so bad for the people who like aren't who can't tune it out I mean because there's always somebody like that everybody can tune out different things Okay, so close, so close. 
What color was this? Oh, is this the non-photo blue? For some reason, I'm just really gravitating towards this blue. So I'm going to do, let's see what happens when I, this is the sky blue light. And I'm going to put that in some areas here because I want to. Just makes it kind of look cloudy, doesn't it? I don't know. Just do a couple spots of it. I'm not in love. Not in love. Yeah, that rooster is going off. I wonder if he feels trapped or something. Do a little here. We're so close. Then I think I'll just go with the non-photo blue, I think. Because I really like that. Apparently. <sighs> oh, sorry. Cover that all up again. Okay, keep that there. See if we can't get this a little more. Okay. That non photo blue. Yeah. Sharpen it again. That was kind of dark. But. Okay, so go in. Hmm, it's not too bad. Non photo blue, 919. Oh, did I tell you what? What was it? Blue, sky blue white, 1086. That's what I did a little bit earlier of, and I didn't really. Actually, this is working out fine, I think. So I think this is the final color we're going to be putting on here. So many opinions on if you think I should do this white. I don't know. I don't, I've got that, uh, that mega color, credit color white. Um, but you don't have a sharpener for it, so it's a little bit... Worried to, did I even put that on the screen? I meant to. Um, a little bit worried to use it since I don't have the sharpener yet. I don't want to be like, I don't want to use my white um, Prismacolor either because I feel like that's kind of a waste. So maybe I'll just leave it. I don't know, it doesn't really bother me. Either way. We're very close, very excited to get done with this. I was thinking about doing some in-person color alongs. Be like $10 a person and you get a coloring book. Then I'd bring some pencils. I bought a few sets of the 72 color pencils. But I don't know. I kind of don't want to color <laughs> my own book. We'll see seemed like a cool idea and I, I, I ran it past some other people and they thought it was a neat idea but I don't know I don't know now 
honestly, I'd rather just make more coloring books than be the person that has to market them <laughs> and stuff. Advertise. It's not fun. It's the boring part of the job, I suppose. So, I hope. You guys felt like you learned how to do something new today. I guess it wasn't like super intentional of how that would be, but I honestly I don't know if I know a lot of techniques for color penciling or or I know them and I don't know I'm doing them because I just do it automatically. Like I did a lot of learning how to do stuff on my own. So if there's like a word for something you might not know. <sighs> We're almost done. Maybe this gives you some ideas for a different coloring page you have. And again to get in between these letters nicely here. I'm still waiting for my um, swatch book to be approved on Amazon. I don't understand why it's taking so long, but I can't wait for it to get approved. So it will be a book in which you guys can, it's full of empty swatches. You ha They'll have enough room for um, the color numbers and if you can write small the color names if you like I personally don't worry about the names of the colors because I'm not I don't think it really matters but that's just me and uh, yeah <laughs> so I'm excited for that because I want to fill it out too so there'll be like you can either like um, cut out the page so you can have a mobile little piece of paper with your color swatches for your colored pencils or you can keep them all in the book. So you can just bring the book wherever and you can use it for whatever medium really you just have to be smart about it. Like the Amazon paper is just it is what it is. We don't really have a, a lot of choice on what paper. I can pick a 55 pound and a 60 pound. And the 60 pound is a lot more expensive than the 55 pound. And so I decided it wasn't worth having to charge you all more money for that 60 pound paper. And so, yeah. So I just stuck with the the cheaper paper and that's all we get a choice of when we're self-publishing on Amazon. So anyway, the paper's not super meant for like um, wet media, but if you're careful, I'm sure you could do anything you really like. Almost done.
so close. Yeah, that's where we put that light blue right there that I didn't love. It doesn't look bad though. Kind of gives it that interesting little additional color. Oh, so close, so close. Oh, that was a bad way to turn this because. Okay, so I'm going to take a second here. I'll put a link in the chat um, if you want to check out my Amazon store or my other socials or whatever. And it has a link to all kinds of stuff on the, it has links to all kinds of stuff. What I'm going to put in the chat here in a minute and uh, It'll be links to like my Facebook group, my art stores, etc. And so we're all done with this. I'm gonna move the camera. Um, do apologize if it is a little bit blah. So I think that turned out pretty cool. How about you all? It's kind of nice. So the next time I'll figure out what we're going to do, I'm leaning towards the coral parts, but probably be uh, at least two more live sessions and we're doing this color along until, oh shoot, April 4th or 5th. It was two weeks long. It started on the 23rd and, um, so we got to be finished by then. If you're not, it's whatever. Totally chillax. But um, that's when I am definitely going to be stopping coloring. And hopefully I'll be done. But let's see. At least two more sessions. Maybe three sessions of live coloring. Because uh, we'll do probably at least these corals on the sides. And then that will be one session for sure. But we might have time to also do some of this and then this will be a single session the the large fish so anyway that link i was talking about one second i gotta grab it i was not prepared what's it called link tree just silly i should have been prepared All right, so putting that in here, paste, and so that's linktr.ee slash adriansmith.artist, and like I said, it has all kinds of links in there, and I hope to see you next time. I'll try to give everyone a little bit more time prior to doing my live next time. So, I will see you around. I thank you for hanging out with me today. And be sure to post your color alongs in the group or tag me at adriansmith.artist on your socials. I'll see you next time. Bye. Oh, I didn't press end. <laughs>